And yeah, so we're on the test server. I don't think there's been any changes since I last played, but I don't know. I think I'm going to start doing some like custom packs on here soon. There are, there are a few builds I really want to try to get. I saw a fun one on Reddit this morning, actually, where someone had a... They had a frontline level 3 badger with quad pterodon behind it, where they all had... Um, well, they didn't all have, but most of them had peppers on them to protect them. And it was like, that is just genius. And I have to try it. <laughs> it has to be amazing. And Fania, hello. Blue note as well. Hello, hello. Alright, so yeah, we're going to take a cone snail. I'm going to leave the rest. Or maybe take this and then trust that we'll get something in the middle. Because there is good synergy there. Yeah, this is amazing. That is a nice start. Let's be the saucy pencils. Yeah, it looks like all the settings are fine. And yes, it's carry. So good. Wouldn't mind the magpie, but I'm probably not rolling for it too hard. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we just stack this. Probably throw this to the front and we save one gold. I think saving one gold is pretty good here. Saucy Pencil's nice. It's a quality name. You have to go for cool names in this. It's weird because I feel like there's actually a fairly high percentage of people that don't write their own names and they just like enable the auto name generation thing. But like it takes half a second and it's funny. So yeah, <laughs> big fan of making some names on this. Uh, of things we can sell. Will this be a win? Who knows? Did anyone bet no? Wait. Yes. <laughs> it says it says 100% to 0%, but it is 5 cables to 10. So someone will get a massive payout, whoever that one doubter was. <laughs> Alright. You always go for the alliteration. I go for alliteration if there isn't a meme name. And if I can't get a meme name or alliteration, then it just sucks and I'm upset. Anyway, these are like, okay. I feel like a door head end isn't too bad. Maybe I kind of abandoned this synergy now. Maybe get rid of the... Probably get rid of the cone snail first. No, get rid of the silk moth before anything. And I'm tempted to buy this, but it is attack heavy. So if it hits the bulldog, then it kind of isn't insane. Ah, oh, you know, let's just like get a few things here. Let's buy these. Really hoping it doesn't hit the possum. That's fine. Okay, I kind of like that. Oh. <laughs> Well, now I want to sell the possum and get, like, the other penguin, but I think I'll probably just stack it and keep rolling. Ah, now let's just get rid of it. I'm not going to use this ability. I really don't want this to get the hit, though, so... We can sell it, buy the other penguin, and then we can roll once to try and find something else. And you know what? Stoke for next turn, maybe. I think that's fine. Okay, let's, like, rearrange it a little bit, then. I think this is probably fine. I'm trusting that this can get at least one trigger out. Oh, <laughs> I don't think it will. Ah, shame. Well, at least it's a draw. Oh, it's a win. Never mind. Actually, very good. You bet no, but two trophies. And <laughs> you're regretting. Yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. Oh, I may just, like, buy these apples, actually. I could double buy these apples here and then... Just do that. I think instead I'm going to freeze one, then we get three rolls, and if I find a penguin, a bulldog, or a lizard for next turn, then that would be very good for us. I'm going to leave the magpie. No, I'm actually not going to leave the magpie. I'm going to buy the magpie as it is right now, and then I'm going to continue rolling down to one. And you know what? Yeah, we want both of these. Alright, still a very good team. <laughs> I think next turn we sell Stoat, see what it is. I may sell the bulldog before I start buying... Um, the other penguins, because I really don't want those to get the buffs here. If you sell level 3 stoked on turn 11, it's amazing. I mean, yeah, but it's really annoying to get it to level 3. <laughs> and also, it's, it's risky, because in this pack, it's not too bad. But I feel like there's a lot of situations where you could get something where it doesn't fit your current team, and, you know. Having an instant level 3 tier 6 is kind of cool, but it's a very big investment, and if you get something that you don't actually want, then it's pretty bad. Up. Uh, Instant flying fish for the lizard. I like that. I think I get rid of the bulldog. Sell bulldog, double buy penguin onto this. I don't want this to get any buffs. The magpie is kind of useful and big, so we can keep that maybe. Falcon. Knockout, summon a 3 3 level 1 copy of knocked out pet. I think that is very worth buying right now. And it immediately got the buff. Okay. Yeah, let's start rolling then. Oh, we have to put it on here. Yeah, yeah, we just, we just buy that. 
<laughs> it's slug as well. Oh, this is looking great. Okay. I'm going to set it like this. I'm pretty sure this is safe at the back at the moment. Well, more or less. Someone might have got an early uh, dart frog. That could maybe screw us over. You understand like half of this. Honestly, I feel like there's a lot of people that do know the game that also don't know what's going on because this is this is the test server at the moment. So there's a lot of new pets. Like literally, all of these pets aren't in the current game at the moment. This is all, this is all new, to be released. I've been here in two weeks. Feels good to be back. Glad you have you back. Imagine getting a one-one level three leopard. I mean, to be fair, it would scale like the value of that would scale up very quickly with the, you know. <laughs> when you scale it. That sounds really dumb, but I'm sure someone understands what I'm trying to say. Uh, we definitely want to stack this straight away. I'm wondering if we get rid of the penguin, if I want to try and keep pushing for that. Because I want to buy the slug too, but like, what can I get rid of? Because I kind of feel like I can't get rid of anything. Let's so just freeze it there. I can maybe buy an avocado and then just like roll a few times. It's probably not bad. Oh, dude. <laughs> Yeah, save that for next turn. We just right roll twice more. Maybe we find one of those and it'd be pretty good. We didn't, but yeah. This is still a very, very strong team, I feel. Or at the very least, we're set up for later. Oh. No, it's too big! I thought we'd be able to copy something off that. And royalty, hello. What about a 1-1 one, one level 3 gorilla? That would be... <laughs> that would be a lot more annoying, I feel. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think I'd like that one too much. Emu. Empty space in front. If in battle, push the nearest friend to the front to give it plus four health. Yeah, I, I think there's a place for it in some teams, but it's very niche and not actually that good. I definitely don't think it fits into this team. But yeah, the question is whether I get rid of the penguin for the slug. Because I do need to get the slug. Oh, let's get rid of the magpie. Just buy the slug, and then we can keep trying to stuff stuff on there. Because if I buy waffles, then it's still pretty good value. And <laughs> glad you could make it. Hello. Yeah, I think I get rid of the magpie, honestly. Like, it's nice, but... We can scale off this, and I may be keeping everything else on the team, which means... Yeah. Getting some extra triggers out of this is going to be very strong for us. And Jay, thank you for the nine months. That is a glorious sub, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Keep Pengu, I am. He is he isn't going anywhere. Um, I mean this is kind of tempting. Like throwing a dart frog behind the slug or something. I don't think I will, but it is a possibility. And you know what? Yeah, let's just slap that on there. We don't have a magpie anymore, so we can just like roll down to the last of our gold. Hey, there we go. We can just like buy a waffle. And that is a 4-2 random buff. Obviously not insane, because I can't even choose where it goes, but yeah. <laughs> I think that's fine. I'm wondering if I need to change the order at all, though. Because, like, we haven't been getting value out of this falcon. Yeah, like, even here, it's just insta-dying. Like, it's not good. It's fine, but it's not, like... It's not working. Okay, banana. Would love to throw that on something, too. Uh, I think I just throw it on the lizard, maybe. Like, we can maybe put pita bread on it later. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I want it on a lot of things, honestly. But, yeah, we can definitely start here. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's just, like, buy the rest. You can have one as well. You can have another one of these. Yeah, Falcon is now pretty large. Not bad. We're almost at the Believer payout, but we haven't got that much stronger. Like, this is a bit of a spooky team. Like, they're very big things. Yeah, see... That was almost a draw. If he had like one more HP, or well, he had one less attack or something, then we would have drew there. Okay, I think it's probably time to get rid of the penguin. I can maybe like buy sell this luring octopus, then try and find something else for the team. Or I could just keep it. Like trying to level this would be pretty good for us. I'm gonna buy this. This isn't going anywhere. Let's let's stack that. And then, ooh, are we keeping this? I can't tell if I want to keep the flying fish on the team. Like, it's not bad, but we're not that invested, and I could maybe just swap it out for, like, a German Shepherd and try and scale that. I think this is staying on the team either way, so I may go for that instead. Let's see what it gives us. 
Cobra. Friend ahead attack steal 20% damage to one random enemy. I think that's worth going for. Like, we can maybe swap out the Flying Fish for that, and we use the Blurring Doctopus to scale. We won't be buffing our summons, but we can use this, like, behind the slug and try and get a load of triggers that way. I hope, at least. <laughs> More HP to Falcon. Yeah, but he's still just, like, dying in one hit all the time. Like, the Falcon isn't doing it. He's gonna do something here, which is nice. He got one pick. No, he's gonna get a guinea pal as well. <laughs> Alright, actually pretty good. He got good value there. And we did make it to the Believer payout too, so that's nice. Hey. Got carried by a lizard tail. Okay, so I could chocolate this. <laughs> I don't think I do. I think it's time to get rid of the flying fish. Like, we're getting good buffs out of it, but. I have to get rid of something, and it can't be the slug, because that's what's going to be... Unless I do get rid of the slug for, like, a white whale to eat a different slug. How much is this game? Uh, it's free. There is DLC. We're on the test server, which is all free at the moment. The base game is free as well, but it does have some DLC packs with uh, other pets in. But yeah, it's, it's all pretty cheap. I think the first DLC pack is, like, four pounds or something? Might be wrong. It's been a long time since I got it, but, yeah, <laughs> It's easy to jump into. I'd recommend trying it anyway. Yeah, I'm getting rid of the flying fish. Like, I don't want to rely on this for too long, and it doesn't make that big of a difference. But, no, yeah, I'm going to chocolate this. I want as many stats out of this as I can get as early as possible. Warthog, faint, give random friends plus one plus one for every three attack this has. Oh, that's also going to be really good if we can start scaling up. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, like, swapping over next turn, because <laughs> we're definitely going to be buying waffles on this. Hmm. Oh, God, there are so many things here. Because, like, I could swap out that slug for a white whale, and then we can get one extra trigger for the cobra. That might be worth it. It's the only guaranteed way to do this, and we are going to be scaling it anyway. <laughs> I think... Oh, God, I don't want to have to buy a banana for this, but I don't know how else I'd do it. Because if I don't find, like, another stat food, then it's really janky. Nah, let's wait on that. I don't want the banana yet. I'll keep these two frozen, but I may not buy it next turn. It may take a while until we swap out that slug, but I would like to eventually. Level your falcon, it's so good. I don't really agree. It can be okay. I don't think it's insane. I hate this. How did they get so many... Like, <laughs> stats and stuff onto those. No. Yes! Draw. It's a draw. We're not losing anything. You forgot your password a few weeks ago, so you have to get every ribbon again. Oh, no. Oh, hold on. Wait. Are you lagging or is Kino gone? I have dropped 30 frames. So I think the stream should be fine. Oh. Do I get rid of the slug? Because I can just, like, feed it an apple or something. I think we get rid of the slug. That's the most, like, expendable thing on the team at the moment. And, again, feeding the white whale something is kind of good. Oh, no, because I wanted the warthog as well. Do I keep the lizard or do I keep a falcon? If a falcon kills a slug or something, then it's really good. But, honestly, there aren't too many insane things. Killing a wolf is okay, but it, I should probably move him a little bit further back if I do. It's all just random, though. I... <laughs> I don't know, we also get a lot more money if I sell this. Yeah, I think we sell the lizard. Sell lizard. If I sell this, because it gives us me gives me some free gold. And then I think I get rid of the slug. I think I sell slug by whale. Feed whale apple, maybe. It depends. I get three rolls to try and find something else. I trust I can find something else. I want, like, actual equipment on this. Yeah, and tomato's fine. All right. <laughs> We're throwing that on there, then. Then he's going to eat the slug. So now this is going to get, like, three summons for the cobra, which still isn't doing a ton, but I would love to level it or something. Tomato's also tempting, but I'm not sure. Probably freeze the tomato. And I don't know if I care about leveling that yet. It's a maybe, but leveling, like, any of these things on the left means a lot more for us, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass on that. Maybe put that there as well. 
You got into an infinite combo. You had a better fish in front of your falcon. He spawned. He spawned and killed his. He killed his. I can't. I don't know what that is. I have seen like an infinite combo with the falcon before though. Oh, he summoned a baby slug, which was like nothing. And then we did. It. We didn't get to do that one. Oh. Okay, we have one more HP. It froze again. I don't think it's on my end. I'm not dropping any frames. And I don't know if you can hear me. I hope you can. Okay, I'm going to throw that there. I don't know what benefits from this. Because, like, this is... Yeah, that's a tag. <laughs> and Sir Flocky, thank you for the three months. Very kind of you. Thank you. The stream's fine. Your internet's dying right now. Oh, hold on. Oh, whoops. <laughs> When you said that, it remind, reminded me to check, and uh, it turns out I am on the wrong internet thing at the moment, so... I'm hoping no one else does anything too internet intensive in the house. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've forgotten to swap that over. Right. I'm gonna throw this on something. Let's just, like, throw it on the Warthog. Like, it's fine. Maybe we can throw that to the front, honestly. Can't buy sell this anymore. Buying a lettuce is a maybe, because we do have two tier sixes, but... I'd rather roll for chocolate. Like, getting a level up on something means so much more. I know this is now, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather roll. Come on. I need I need a little level up. So, waffles for this, maybe. I see catfish, but, like... I'm not convinced. I think we die if I try and, like, push that too early. You suck at explaining. No, I... Well, I'm not gonna deny it. Because I don't know if you do. But I suck at reading. <laughs> oh god, this cobra thing is like doing nothing too. <laughs> it's like shooting three damage snipes. We need much better than that. He needs to both level up and be much spookier. So I could maybe do this, and it may help out a lot if it doesn't get one shot, but it's still at 13 HP. Like, it's very likely to get one shot. So I don't know about that. I think we roll the pit bread for now, honestly. <laughs> Even like tomato again, but uh, there we go. We have a level up. That is something. Might go for this as well. Like it is an improvement, but it's not a big one. I think we probably do pass. It's still more important that we like find other things here. Yeah, okay. We definitely buy this. Be freezing the other chocolate. Okay. Well, we got quite a bit stronger now that the cobra is doing like twice as much damage with its snipes. But yeah, it's still interesting. They have a potato guy. <laughs> We've now, like, broken the potato. I think we're going to be fine, though. Like, these things aren't that big, and we're still doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, look, we're doing, like, eight damage snipes now, because he also, like, got larger. It's not just a higher percent of the same damage, it's a higher percentage of the higher damage. So that is great. Okay, maybe you throw this here, too. And Edub, hello! You checked your Twitch recap, and you're not... Too bad if you had to as you start watching your stream. Oh god. I watched mine as well, or saw mine, and I have like almost 2k hours watching this year. And a lot of that is like background stuff, because I do a lot of, um, you know, when I'm browsing or playing other games, I'll have a Twitch open in the background just to listen to. But like, that's still a lot. Now, what do, yeah, what do I do with this? Do I throw this on here? I can't throw it on the white whale, and if I was going to level that, I would have done it with the ones I found at the shop, but... I'm gonna try this. I don't mind trying to level a Warthog for a bit. Don't really care about any of this. Oh yeah, one <laughs> another one of these. I'm gonna buy this over like rolling for another Warthog as well. Let's just take this now. Show me one more, please. I don't know if I'd ever put a chocolate on there. I think I do just want to find like a natural one. But this is good. I only really watch your stream. Honestly, I watch a ton of streams. I don't know, yeah, I, I bounce between a lot of people. I have, like, my set main people that I like to watch all the time, but I have a ton of other people that I do like to, you know, <laughs> fill in if no one else is around, I guess. I don't know, there's too many good, good people to watch. You just get in the habit of watching, like, certain people... Sometimes, and then I'll watch them, like, way more often than other people for a while, and then I'll, like, switch back to someone else. Same with YouTube, really. Anyway, I'm gonna buy one of these. I'm gonna roll once. 
And we probably buy a tomato of a one of these other random things. Maybe this and throw it to the front. Yeah, let's try that. I'm trusting that we don't go against, like, what? <laughs> Three tomatoes, because they'd all hit my falcon and it'll die before we get any value, but... I still think this is probably an improvement. What is this update? This is the test server, so it's not actually out yet. But, oh, please, don't snipe me too hard. Hit the snake. Oh, never mind, we're fine. Wait, we are not fine. Oh, actually scammed. <laughs> what? That was such a mean ending. We, we definitely lost like two coin flips in a row at the end. How does one play it? Exclamation point test. Oh, we got nine trophies. Oh, shame. I thought that one was going to make it to the end. Hold on. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was just going to type that out. Thank you, Shadow Panda. All right, let me do the prediction then. Choose outcome. There you go, believers. Let me know if you were one of the lucky people that got one, like, one ball back. One ball profit, I mean. It was like 5k to 10 or something. That was such an L. It's not my fault. I did everything I could. We got screwed over by bad luck at the end. Honestly, it could have gone either way, because if his snake sniped mine earlier, then... I would have died. If I had sniped his earlier, then he definitely would have died. Instead, we had fairly even luck until that end bit. And then I got crushed by sniping the wrong thing at the wrong, <laughs> the wrong moment. Anyway, let's go with that again then. I'll take a possum, I'll take a cone snail. I will take second possum and freeze second cone snail. And let's be the naughty tentacles? Delicious tentacles? Naughty tentacles. You should change it to top 7 to turn to top 6. I refuse. Can we please do a limbless animal only game for viewer lobbies? If we do it on test server. I'd have to make it, and I don't know what we're throwing in there. I feel like there's a lot of limbless things that are quite obvious, but for all I know, there's some that are less obvious. I don't know what actually counts as a limb. So they just destroyed my chipmunk. I'm kind of upset. Alright, at least this is going to, like, crush everything else. Well, they're going to try to. It's going to be a draw. But yeah, we take those. Okay, there is a stilt. Let's see what this is first. Flying fish. I mean, flying fish does work with stilt, because we do summon a trumpet lad. I don't actually know what it's called. Golden Retriever, there we go. <laughs> oh, options. I could keep, like, slapping stuff on here. I don't really think it's a good idea, though. I think instead I sell Chipmunk and I buy Penguin and hope it hits one of those two. Not insane, but... Yeah, there we go. Alright. And let's change this around a bit. Go like this. I'll definitely be freezing these three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm liking that. As long as I have my Flying Fish right at the back, it will still get to buff the Golden Retriever. If I had it, like, anywhere further forward, then... Yeah. <laughs> then that would not work. It's like an invertebrate game. I think we've done that once before, but it was a long time ago. But yeah, I think that is the idea. Oh, damn, another hit on that. Not bad. Maybe I leave this then. I really want to get the Cone Snail level up, though, and it's kind of annoying to roll with that Frozen. But I don't know. Like, it can be cool to get, like, Sea Turtle Lizard going on, but it's hard to level... Or scale the lizard. Because you basically just have to buy more, buy apples, or get lucky with penguin buffs early. Hmm. I don't know if this has been said, but you didn't ping the Discord. Oh. It has not been said. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I typed one out, but I never sent it. Sorry for the late ping. And let's... Wait, what's that? Like, yeah, face holding back tears. Good enough. Only half an hour late. <laughs> well, it's out there now. Ping your blooming Discord mate has been said multiple times. You're ignorant, ignorant goose. It is not. No one has said it. Maybe you were talking about it in Discord. No one said it in chat. Okay. Yeah, we're saving that for later. I think we do cherry this. 
And then the option is just like buying an apple or rolling three times to try and find like a penguin. I think we probably just buy the apple, honestly. I think that's fine. Number, hello. Uh, we're gonna be fine. This is a big thing. It's gonna trade with him, and then we're gonna get to smash that last one. Yeah, we're all safe. And Sky guy, hello. All right. Yeah, I'm not buying the lizard anymore. It's way too small. Weasel, some maybe. All right. Two friends faint. Give the nearest thing behind plus three three. That is kind of good with this build. It's not insane, but it does encourage us to just get like loads of um, wolves and slugs. And, you know, both flying fish and the secretary bird function with those. But it doesn't really help right now, so I'm not sure. Because we're only going to get, like, one trigger out of that. It's a lot better than some of the things we have on the team at the moment. I don't know, maybe I just, like... Maybe I start getting rid of these. Like, that's a faint pet. If this hits the groundhog, I'm going to be kind of upset. But if it hits the weasel, then <laughs> it's kind of cool. Unless I just, like, freeze these two and roll and, you know... Hopefully we'll see something else. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. This is the groundhog again. Alright, I'm just gonna risk it. Hit this, please. No, I hit the groundhog. Uh nah, you know what? We're not taking it then. We grease. It sounds like a phone. Oh, and now we have a baboon, but I don't have a level three. Tier three. I do have a tier three. Ignore me, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna keep rolling the turn away, I think. We have two tier threes. I don't know if I'm going to buy lettuce, but I'm going to buy it over the rest of the food, so. Yeah, let's freeze those. And I do not care about the rest of those. Okay, so. The order actually doesn't matter that much. I just want that right at the back and that, like, second from the back. Oh god, all the new pets, what do they do? There are too many to just explain what they all do. I'd encourage you to, like, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot. I'm obviously not going to be able to explain them all. Why do they all have hats? It's just part of it. You can give them hats. And if you can give them hats, why wouldn't you? Well, now I'm looking at this. And it's like, I don't care about buffing the baboon. Buffing the flying fish is kind of cool because it's already very big. But, like, buying avocados at this stage is better. But so is just, like, finding level ups for the things I have. So, never mind. I'm dumb and should not have been going for those. We'll take one of those. Freeze it. Roll once more. I buy a flying fish over the avocado. So if we find that, then we do that. But we didn't, so we buy the other avocado. Uh, honestly, I still like I still like where we're at. I don't like that my biggest thing by far is right at the back, but... Oh god, now that flea's going to hurt us really badly. <laughs> okay. Uh, we do have a slug. Slug is huge. Alright, I think we get rid of the stilts. It is one less summon, but the summon is only working with the flying fish, and it's really not that big. So after I get rid of the penguin, which maybe I get rid of both. But for now, I think I do this. So the baboon still buffs either the slug or the secretary bird. I don't really care which. Oh, this is great. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with this. What do you have? Wolf, also amazing. I do think I immediately get rid of the penguin again, though, instead of trying to, like, milk it for stats. But, yeah, let's... Fire ants? Nah. Nah, we didn't need a fire ant. Alright. Yeah, let's, like, throw everything on the team, then. I'm going to send it like this. I don't think it really matters, but this is... This is good. Team's looking okay. Level 1 flying fish is meh. Level 2 flying fish is insane. I mean, it depends what it is. When when you're summoning normal things like this, where the things don't have any abilities, it doesn't really matter. Like, it scales up as you'd expect it to. If you're actually getting a benefit from the extra levels, then... Yeah, I agree. Can be very, very good. Right, yeah, we don't want any of this. Lettuce, we have two tier fours. It's like, it's a maybe, but I'd still much rather just level up the things we have on the team. And that's a question. The Dark Frog is also a question, but it only does three damage now. 
And it's targeted at the highest health enemy. Hmm. Is that new? Legitimately can't remember, but <laughs> flying uh, poison dart frog doesn't seem as amazing as it used to be. I think I probably don't try and invest in the baboon though. I think we pass on that. Oh, come on. Give me something. Freeze this, maybe. If I don't find anything else, I'll take it. Yep. Okay. Not insane, but we needed to take something. The nerfs are somewhat new. Yeah, it used to be random. I did think it used to be random, but it also used to be, like, higher damage, I think. Oh, always nice health. Am I going crazy? The thing is, it might have been... Oh, bear change it was highest I thought. I have no clue. Like you might definitely be right, but I cannot remember. It was four damage to highest health, so it hasn't even been nerfed that much. Okay. Uh so leveling this doesn't make that much of a difference. It makes much more difference trying to level the flying fish, but I don't actually care about that. What I care about is finding cool things for the team, which if we get like a a grizzly bear or a bird of paradise. Even a German Shepherd, and then we can just like swap out the flying fish for that. So then there's a lot of things that we can get from this that would be very amazing for our team. <laughs> and sadly, that is not it. I think. Like, I could swap out the flying fish for it, and then we can like trigger the slug ability again. But yeah, that doesn't really do anything for us. I think we just pass on that. <laughs> okay, let's try and level the flying fish then. Like, while it's still here, at least. Uh, potentially worth trying to buy all the Blurring Doctopus to buff these, but I'd rather get level ups at the moment, like... It's a maybe, so is buying bananas. Maybe freeze that. I don't know if I'm going to try to level the se Secretary Bird again, though. This change was implemented December 6th. How long ago was that? That was like two weeks. I should have been aware of it, but I don't think I've done many Poison Dark Rock runs for a while. Uh, we get to be okay. That's going to be a big dog, but this is already very large. Yeah. <laughs> it is okay. It's even a win. Okay, chocolate. Who do I throw this on? Oh, never mind. It's obvious. <laughs> Definitely this. Oh, God. These aren't good. These are the bad tier sixes. I can't use the pterodon, and I can't use the catfish. Like, the only other bad thing would have been, like, the wildebeest. Like, everything else we could maybe get some value out of if we scaled it. Like, Warthog's not great, but again, you could kind of use it. Cobra, kind of same deal, but we do have a slug, so it'd be... It'd get some guaranteed triggers, at least, even if we can't scale it too much. Uh, But yeah, it's going to be hard to get rid of this slug, so I'm going to throw a banana on there. It doesn't do anything yet, because this thing is already... You need, like, two triggers for it to go off. Like, two summon slash deaths. So this is setting it just, like, one notch higher, which I believe doesn't do anything yet. But if we get one more, then that will make a difference. If I had a cherry to something, it would make the difference. Hmm. This is buffing this still. I'm going to save that for one more turn. I think I just, like, buy this. Still not trying to get this. Still not trying to get this to level 3, because honestly, I don't think it's going to matter too much. At some point, we're going to want to get rid of that. We're probably go going to want to swap in a grizzly bear. Because if we don't have scaling, it's going to be pretty hard to get good scaling. Oh, this is going to kill us, I think. No, it's not. The pigs are going to do it. I thought that was going to trade, like, all the way through and crash into my flying fish. Okay, well, there's another level up. <laughs> I guess we just have to take it. All right, what do you have? Warthog, yeah, we're not taking it. These are not good. These are bad things. I don't know whether I freeze a tomato or not. I don't think I do. I'm not going for the baboon. We want to swap that out. I could maybe take a white whale. I think that's fine. It's okay. Yeah. I may not feed it yet, but <laughs> I'll set up for it at least. Yeah, we wait. We just like keep rolling this then. Bird of paradise. That's like a maybe, because we could maybe use that to like permanently start scaling things on the team, but it's not. It's not really what I want. And Civil, hello. Yeah, we're gonna leave that, I think. Uh, I'm gonna leave these as well. I really want to find something for the white whale to eat later. No, there's no point. 
There's no point trying to level it until I have something for it to eat. Otherwise, I'm just spending a lot of money just to give it like two, two stats. I know I could have got it to level three there and then still had the tomato to give it later. Damn, this is actually very good. Okay, please. Something that I can feed us. It. it needs to be a wolf or a slug. Like, that's, that's kind of it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, we have one slug for him. Uh, and I do have enough gold as well. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm gonna feed him like a random thing, so just get a bit close to, to a level up. And then roll once more. Give him this. There is also a grizzly. Better or worse than the secretary bird? I could take both this turn. Like, this is happening, so I will start with that. Six damage to two random enemies. How many things are we summoning? We're summoning like three from this, three from this, three from this. I think we can probably get like at least three triggers, maybe. I'm hoping. So I might be able to get rid of the secretary bird, but we probably get rid of the fine fish. No, we have too many summons. Let's get rid of the secretary bird. All right. We're going to try that. So we're not going to be very large, but we're going to have some extra snipes, and I'm hoping that is going to be much better. Zafira, hello. Terry as well, hello. How's the summon build coming? It was going okay, but we've been kind of stuck for a while. So I'm hoping this pivot is going to save it, but we do need to level the bear for a chance, I feel. That's going to be a draw. It's very close, but... Okay, yeah. No, I'm, I, I'm definitely pumping this. If I do this, it's going to get rid of the slug again, which is not what I want. So yeah, you have that. We can immediately... We can level up both, actually. That's very nice. I may even freeze the pitter, too. Cobra, nah. We don't wait to scale it. <laughs> German Shepherd. Potentially a lot better than the Flying Fish, but again, we have the same problem where I don't have a way to scale it. I may try and level the Wolf, but honestly, we're like at the end of the game. I don't really think it matters, but, you know, it'll give the pigs a lot of stats. It may mean more triggers for the grizzly. And you know what? Definitely swap those two around. I was afraid this is going to get sniped by... No, oh, if it does get sniped by stuff, that's really bad. I can't afford for this to die in one hit to a tomato. They don't have a tomato, but yeah. <laughs> they might have. Also, this is bad. They're getting a lot of trumpets out of basically nothing. Although, that was an insane hit for us, so I think we're definitely okay. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a win. Alright, there we go. Another win. It did have a grizzly in it, though, so... No one actually cares.